Okay, thank you guys so much for all you do for my channel, all your love, support, comments, likes, shares, donations. I love you guys so much. Let's get into this quick read, okay? I already have the cards laid out to save time and to get out several of quick readings and channel messages to you guys, okay? So go ahead and hit that like button. Let's jump into this. So Pisces, the first card we have out, the Knight of Wands, okay? The next card we have out, the Tower, the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay, so check this out, Pisces. Um, You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Emphasis on a Libra. Aries. And a Taurus. So let's get into this reading. So Pisces, there's someone in your life. This could be past, present, future energy. I'm reading this as past, present, future energy with the outcome. Okay, so for some of you guys, you need to know that You'll know as I'm describing this person who this person may be, right? May not want to believe that it's this person, right? So this person, overall energy towards you is justice in reverse. So I get this energy that whoever this person is, they're very much not, there's, okay, I'm going to tell you right now, the scale is not balanced when it comes to this person. Their integrity or their faith and integrity to you, their loyalty to you, it's not, it's something here that's not balanced. You need to understand that this person, they are coming off as someone who rushes into your life. They desire you or they desire to be around you. It can only be for like, for just like um, pleasing themselves, sexual passion. But this person comes off as if they keep rushing towards you, trying to avoid a separation here with you, trying to avoid like losing you all together out of their life. They're trying to keep a situation built on some type of unhealthy foundation or rocky foundation here with you. They're trying to keep this situation going. And the crazy thing about it is, is that there's a third party in this situation. Um, for some of you guys, okay, it may be a third party, like an ex-wife, ex-husband, baby mama, baby daddy, um, just another woman, another man. And it's like, this person doesn't see your worth. Like they don't, they don't see your worth and your abundance. And I really kind of feel like this person, they don't see your What is it? What is it, Spirit? It's like they are, they don't feel like you're good enough. Like this person doesn't feel like you're good enough, okay? That's the energy I'm getting. For some of you guys, they may even be married or committed or in a situation where it's a third party situation and they don't want to be in that commitment. They don't want to be in that marriage, right? They don't want to have a growth and abundance with that situation. But why do I get that when this person comes around you sometimes, I feel like you need to pay attention to this person's words. This person says little things. They take shots at you. You're not paying attention. That really shows you that they don't see your worth. Like they, they belittle you. They lower you in class and rank. They say little Little things as if you're not able able or capable of being that bitch you know what I'm saying like or that that dude like for real that man and it's like they say little things you need to pay attention to these person's words they they're like um they come off as kind of very um smart adult like a smart addict a smart Alec I don't know Alec and it's like they're um they're very um picky fine in some way you guys I don't I'm getting this energy that this is the type of person you're dealing with like they say things that make you feel like you're not on their level like like they can't see themselves married to you or committed to you or having growth and abundance but you're not I don't know if you're catching these slick things or little things that they say so moving forward this person wants to rush in to have this passion here with you or because they do desire you in some way. But again, it is built on a faulty foundation. Now, <clears throat> as far as the faulty foundation is coming towards me, it really has to do with this two of pentacles. It could have to do with social or social economic, like, I think I'm saying this right, but it's, it's coming out to me like, um, your status when it comes to finances, so socioeconomics, am I saying it? Socioeconomics, I don't know. Something about that, like money, finances, like 
I feel like they may have this old outdated beliefs or someone may have this may have this may be how they have been raised or brought up to believe or feel like they should be with a certain person of a certain status or a certain rank. But then they don't want to they don't want to they can't stop rushing into you, coming towards you. Like they want to be able to come in when they desire you. But they're indecisive about if they see you as relationship status. Like this person is very indecisive if your relationship status, if they see you as a relationship, um, they they miss constantly miss opportunities here with you because they're very indecisive. Uh, they have hot and cold feet here. Yep, look at that. When I'm looking at the two of pentacles, I'm looking at the feet. This person is like hot and cold, like this hot and cold energy here with you. They rush in, they do this hot and cold, they do this little fucking dance with you. You know what I'm saying? They do this, they go around and do this little dance here with you. And I feel like they kind of have you on this merry-go-round and they have you on this emotional roller coaster because they're on this damn emotional roller coaster. So they're bringing you with them. They're fucking like, you know what I'm saying? They're taking you for a fucking ride. Period. This person is taking you for a ride. And it's because they're hot and cold. They're indecisive. Wow. Okay, so yeah, they may even be juggling you. And the sad thing is, is that I don't feel like this person really desires to juggle you. Again, there is something that's built on a faulty foundation and within their own structure, their own beliefs, their own upbringing, especially because we see the Ten of Cups here. Yes, within their own background, okay? History, family history, whatever, whatever they're seeing or believing about um, connections, relationships, love, happily ever afters, fairy tales, whatever they believe, right? Um, there may also be issues where they, issues that they have in their family that they need to heal. They need to heal these things here, you know, in order for them to be able to see things a lot clearer and to build better and healthier relationships or stronger connections, even with you, but it doesn't start with you. It has to start with their own family, the reason why they're like this. I do get this energy though that they're also the blockage could have to do with their family. Could have to do with family um lineage. It could have to do with lineage is what I'm hearing. Like um I'm also getting like um because the Ten of Cups is like emotions and feelings. Could have to do with what people are seeing or going to say or going to feel about them. It could be outside their family for some of you guys or it could be within their family. Uh, I'm hearing it, it go, I'm hearing it goes both ways with the two of Pentacles. Also, I'm seeing that though, be mindful of this person because in the near future, I do feel like this person, um, they will not be fighting for this connection. They will not be fighting to have this emotional happiness and bliss here with you. Like I'm not seeing someone really put in that determination and fight here. I'm not seeing someone fighting for this relationship or fighting for this happiness, um, this completion, this bliss, this joy here with you. You know what I'm saying? I want to keep it real. I feel like if anything, someone's pushing you away. I just get this energy where they continue to push their own happiness away, their potential happiness, their own happiness. It's like smothering something and just, you know, uh, pushing it deep down inside so that they don't have to feel it or believe it or really feel like you could be their, you know, dream come true, their happily ever after. Mm. This is what I'm seeing, Pisces. Like, this person is not willing to fight for something that's going to make them fully happy. You know what I'm saying? So let's see. This is what I'm seeing. Like, for the romance angel cards that I chose, it was worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Overall energy is codependency. So either this person... Um, it's almost like either this person is in a codependent relationship, um, a, re a relationship that's not based on love, or they're looking for, or they're involved in a relationship like that, or they're looking for a relationship like that, um, or they're headed towards a relationship like that. This They may be dealing with the karmic. They may have their own karmic relationship or partnership, but with this word um, waiting for, divine timing is at work in your love life. I feel like this is deliverance. 
So I'm hearing deliverance here, judgment, the lovers. Um, I'm also hearing something being divinely guided. And I kind of feel like, yeah, this person is really looking at you at a spiritual connection here with you as if it's not. And this person, for some of you guys, this person may not even be married. It just may just be looking for someone that they feel is marriage material. And they may not be looking at you like that. I'm just going to keep it real with you. So they're like steady, like waiting for something here. It's almost like waiting for something better, waiting for the next best thing, constantly waiting for the next best thing, always having cold feet, always someone like this. It seems like they'll never be able to fully be happy. That's what it looks like. They'll never be able to be fully happy. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. The romance. OK, so I already picked the romance angel card. So I'm doing this quick reading, you guys, because as you can see, I'm about to go to sleep. But I wanted to do this for you guys. So um, this is not going to be an extended reading. This is just something quick and lovely for you guys so that you guys can get this information. Um, I did chose three cards for um, their love messages. So let me read this to you. I have never felt this way before. And then we have, please try to understand. And then we have, I miss you. So straight up, this person, I'm going to tell you right now, again, I do feel like this person, so, this person has never felt this type of connection here before. Like this is something really different from what they've ever experienced or ever felt. Um, but they, it's like almost like they cannot explore it. They cannot explore it the way that they want or desire it um, because it has, please try to understand. So deep down inside their root chakra, their sacral chakra, like deep down that sacral chakra, like this person has a burning desire here um, to explore something here with you. But then it says, please try to understand. And this is in blue. So this is the throat chakra. Please try to understand. This is my throat chakra energy with the blue. So this is almost like someone trying to explain themselves. Or maybe you're not even getting an explanation. Or maybe their explanation is not making any sense to you. Um, hmm. It's weird because I kind of feel like they want you to understand where they're coming from. But I'm not sure if they can also put their like feet in your shoes. And then they have, I miss you. So I do feel like I miss you here. I feel like this person... Um, they may be someone who have longed for you or longed for you. But the thing is, is that the I miss you also is saying I missed opportunities with you. So they're trying to say, please understand that like they're going to have to miss this opportunity here with you. Even, and even though they've never found someone that made, to make them feel this way. Um, yeah. interesting. I just don't like how the I miss you and this wanting you to be understanding of their situation, but they're also not seeing how they're not understanding of what, how they may be making you feel. Uh, for some of you guys, like a sex symbol, for some of you guys, like, you know, you can just discard of me and pick you, pick me whenever you want to, because I don't meet this criteria of yours or I'm not this picture perfect person in your like fairy tale life or whatever it is. This is what I'm seeing, Pisces. 